what's up my bridges if you're new here hello my name is Brittany and good morning to all the bridges in the live chat today's video is going to be about the new NARS holiday collection and if you're not familiar with me and my channel I have quickly become a big fan especially of the NARS eyeshadow palettes as of late I guess probably Shit, when was the first one that launched? The Summer Solstice, I think? No, it started last year, I remember now. Because I did my favorite look of 2020, right? I'm like, what year are we in? I did my favorite look of the year with the NARS Orgasm X palette. These were both sent to me from Look Fantastic. And that kind of, I don't know, it like quickly pushed me into loving NARS. Because I've had like a love-hate relationship with NARS. I think their powders are incredible. Their complexion products don't always work the best for me. But since I tried their eyeshadow palettes, I have bought like every single of the nine pan because I think these are such a great value, such a great price. And my favorite of all of them so far is the Climax palette. I just love like the variety of textures. So as soon as I saw that they were launching a bigger palette for holiday, I jumped all over it. So I picked up the, I think it's pronounced Bijoux. Not really sure. I'm not fancy, but this is the holiday eyeshadow palette. I also picked up the high profile cheek palette and two of the limited edition holiday audacious lipsticks because if you don't know these are my favorite lipstick formula of all time so we're going to cover all that today i know there's so much other stuff if you guys like these types of videos we just sit down get ready i just show you how they look on my face if you're new all of my videos are in live stream format so you can Join in the live chat. We can have a little chitty chat. I see how the bridge is chickling in. Yes, bitch. Good morning, everybody. I know. Happy Saturday. <laughs> so before I get into demoing the products, I do want to show you guys the rest of the holiday collection because this is a pretty, I mean, stellar holiday collection that they came out with. So you've got the Orgasm Blush, which Orgasm will never die when it comes to NARS. You have the eyeshadow palette. You see the lip the lipsticks right here. I almost said liquid lipsticks. You've got the lip balm set. You've got orgasm, the blush with the brush, with the brush, the blush, and like the lip balm. You've got the cheek palette. You have two smaller of the eyeshadow palettes, but since I was getting the bigger palette, I was like, nah, I don't need the smaller ones. I'm good. <laughs> and then there's like a lipstick set. There's a brush set, another orgasm eyeshadow palette, another lip balm set. I have a bunch of this stuff linked down below. I feel like the best place right now to shop the entire collection is the NARS website, but you've got another cheek palette and also the mascara. So big holiday collection. I think a lot of people are really excited about this year's. I'm really excited. I live for a bondage moment. So when I saw all these all over, I'm like, oh, I gotta have it. NARS just fucking kills it when it comes to packaging. So like I said, I think the best place right now to shop this collection is on the NARS website. I see some of it available on like Saks, uh, shit, where else? Ulta, I've seen it. It's like bits and pieces keep dropping in like random locations. I got the, actually, the high profile cheek palette. I picked this up at Sephora, but I actually had a really positive experience shopping with NARS. So I do recommend shopping through NARS. I got my order super quick, but I do think I paid for extra shipping, like faster shipping, just so I could get this video out for you. But, um, yeah, other than that, I think I had really great quality as far as, like, the presentation. I did, like, a NARS unboxing on my Insta story. Like, you could see exactly how I received it. It was all bubble wrapped. Really great, just quality packaging aspect. It's not just, like, thrown in a box. Like, you got a nice little envelope when you had your receipt in it. It, like, gives you the vibe of, like, a luxury shopping experience. So, I do like that. So, there's that. I see all the bridges. I'm see. I'm like, wait, what am I missing? What are you guys talking about over there? <laughs> so first I'm going to show you, I'm going to play with the eyeshadow palette first. I just did quick swatches on my hand. So this is the overall color story right here. But I will say like, I feel like this is pretty common with NARS is it performs and looks so much better on your eyeballs. So don't let the swatches like they look not that impressive when you swatch them. So, I mean, you can see that there's the variety of the textures. You have mattes, you have satins, you have shimmers, you have duo chrome eyeshadows. Like, you have such a wide range of textures, which is my favorite thing about NARS. So, you've got the packaging, you've got a sticker on the back. 
Definitely going to get fingerprints all over the packaging, but this is the color story. My favorite shade right off the get-go, there's actually two that I'm really favorable to. This one here is that dual chrome, and then the one right above that. It's like the most beautiful. They're going to be these two, like this one and this one. Do you see how shiny and sparkly? Oh, they're so beautiful! I'm so excited, but of course, like what was most appealing to me about this palette was the greens <laughs> so i think i'm gonna do i don't know i'm like do i want to do like a couple looks three because i usually do like one uh, one look on each eye i'll do like my lid so you guys could see how they perform and then i'll wipe it off and then do a completed look that's probably what i'll do and then i'll do the cheek palette and then the lipsticks sound good sounds great how we doing this fine saturday morning how do you guys feel about these morning uploads on the weekend because I'm sure a lot of you if you're like myself some people go out on Fridays so I'm like you know what let's have a nice Friday morning or Saturday morning kickoff maybe some of us are hungover I'm actually not listen I went out last night and I swear I'm just like how did I have so many drinks last night see look at the pigmentation when I swatch this it's like that's what it looks like swatched <laughs> hello pigment but it's like when I went out we were like throwing them back last night and I'm like I'm not even drunk like what's happening <laughs> I wasn't even fucking buzzed no hangover today I woke up at like seven o'clock I was set to go for the day I'm like what was I drinking last night <laughs> was it even alcohol I'm not really sure so I'm just placing that. I'm using the uh, the builder from the Sony G from the Lotus collection. I was not expecting to love this collection nearly as much as I do. Like, it's almost like I had a realization like, wow, Brittany, you actually reach for these brushes a lot. And that's kind of what I like to mention in these kind of videos because it's like, it's easy to be super judgy about especially brushes when you first get them. But it's like, I feel like, I would have loved to have seen these brushes sold in, like, individually, but I actually reach for a lot of them, so this is, this has become a fave over, over a period of time. Let's see, if you have only one drink today, I will do it for you. <laughs> actually, I'm going out again tonight because there's a band playing, and now, because, like, the bar's getting closer, like, the progress is going, and... I'm not even telling you guys what the hell I'm using. I'm just using these two shades down here right now. And then I think I'm going to dip into, I think I'm going to dip into this one because this is more of a satin. So I want to play with this one. So since the bar is moving along as far as progress with construction and everything, I'm starting to check out like a lot of like live entertainment, like bands and shit like that. So there's this one band that they used to play a lot in our town. And they're playing again. I think they all either got back together or the band kind of like, I don't know. Something happened where the band's playing again. So I'm like, okay, I want to watch them to see if they're like as good as I remember them being. Because they were like one of the best bands, I feel, in our area. Look at this. I'm like not even trying. Like the fact that I could just have a casual conversation. And this is a set. And this kind of gives me like the Charlotte Tilbury vibes. Like. How you could put a more like shimmery satin in the crease and it doesn't accentuate <laughs> like the texture or anything. Damn, yes, bitch, I love this for me. So again, I just want you guys to be able to see exactly how these eyeshadows are working. But so far, I mean, this is exactly <laughs> what I love. Oh shit, Kristen's going to see Garbage in Vegas tonight. Yes, I freaking, I love going to see live bands just because... It's so incredible seeing, like, how talented people are and then just the show that people put on. And then it's always cool, too. Like, I have friends that are in bands. I'll actually have my friend playing. His band is going to be, I think, one of the opening bands when the bar opens. So it's just always cool, especially, like, when you know the local people. Are you guys paying attention or are you just listening to what I'm saying? Because I'm like, oh, my God, this is what I love about NARS right here. If I had to compare... A for, like a, a brand formula wise that these remind me of I would say this gives me the vibes of like Scott Barnes because of the variety of the textures and how they look so much better on the eyes like again like are you seeing what this looks like in comparison to what you see on my eyeballs 
anyways, I just, I love going out to see live entertainment. It's fun. And then I'm trying to bring, like, different talents. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, especially if you live in a smaller town like I do, you, you see a lot of the same bands, like, over and over and over again. So I'm trying to find, like, the hidden gems, you know? So here's going to be look number one as far as, like, how far I'm going to take this one. Just because I don't like to spend a ton of time. I just like to give you guys the idea. Like I said, I'll wipe it off and then I'll come back. Oh, my God. Britches take over at the bar? I mean, if you guys are down, let's do it. Oh, my God. That would be so much fun. Tell me that that would not be the best thing ever to like not only me, like me meet you guys, but to have you guys meet each other would be so cool. <laughs> yes, Nar shipped your order the same day. Same. Mine came so quick. But like I said, I do think that I paid for additional shipping. I could be wrong, but that is that's pretty much where I'm leaning. OK, here's look number one. Let's go to look number two. I kind of want to use like the berry and the purple. I might dip back into this one. Like, I kind of wish on this eye I used this shade here because it's a little bit cooler. This one's more, I would say it's got that, like, burgundy undertone to it. So for the first look, I used this shade, this shade, this shade, and then this one up here. So this entire top row is basically, like, what I would classify as a metallic. So you've got the metallics. This one here is more of, like, a shimmer because I think that would be really really beautiful for an inner corner highlight this one here is also like a metallic but their metallics aren't like pigmented they're almost like toppers like I feel like this one has a pretty good amount of pigmentation as far as the base goes but I don't know there's just something so spectacular about these fucking NARS so I would say the purple the green this brown right here maybe this tan right here those are going to be what I would classify as like satin shades and then all of the rest of them, I think, are matte. So there's that for you. <laughs> Let's see. We need t-shirts for the bar merch, please. Definitely. I actually had, if you guys don't follow on Facebook, I have like a bar, Inst or not, in I have a bar Instagram too. I should actually post it on there. I have a bar Facebook page. So I had actually, one of my friends, I met her actually through like the wedding industry and she's a photographer and artist and I had her do a mural and she posted like a little sneak peek on her TikTok but then I shared it to the bar's Facebook. Guys, wait till you fucking see it. It is like you can't see the whole thing but you get like a a general idea of what it looks like. It's so sick. It's basically <laughs> lips all over the wall. Oh my god, I'm like I can't, I just can't wait for people to actually see, like, what <laughs> I've been working on for two fucking years, because <laughs> it's been so damn long. I shouldn't say what I've been working on, what my husband has been working on, like, thank God that I had a husband that's as talented as mine, <laughs> because, damn, he has been a lifesaver throughout this whole experience, like, if you guys didn't know, my husband owns, like, Here's a little 411 on, like, our, uh, I guess our living situation. Like, um, my brother, my brother-in-law, my husband and I are all partners for their construction business. So we do spray foam and drywall. So they've done primarily all of the work at the bar. So if you guys do ever come to the bar, <laughs> you're going to see, like, uh, I wish a lot of you lived, like, in our town. Because the bar that I purchased, it's always been a bar since I think like the 60s like it's been a, a bar it's just kind of turned over I think it's been like five or six different bars so every single bar that's been at that location they've always just basically like painted the walls did like minor construction to it and basically like put lipstick on it and opened it again that's not at all what we did I mean the fact that it's been two years in construction should tell you how much work has gone into it but Oh my god, I can't wait to show, like, an unveiling of what it looks like. But it's, it's like, the people that live in my town are going to be the ones that are like, whoa, it's, like, way different than what it was. It feels so weird to even talk about it, like, on a video. Because I have not really spilled the beans on anything as far as, like, people are always asking me. And I'll kind of say things, like, here and there as far as, like, what to expect. 
but it's like it's so different it's been so much work but it's actually been like it's been a lot of stress <laughs> but it's also been really fun just being like super creative with and now we're at like the like drywall and painting stage so it's just been fun seeing something transform so dramatically <laughs> but then on the outside it looks like nothing is different <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Where is the location of the bar? Look at we just came here to talk about the bar today, right? Um, it's at, it's located in Auburn, New York. So I live in upstate New York. It's about like a half hour from Syracuse. I feel like that's what most people know is Syracuse, just because like the college basketball and stuff. So I'm relatively close to there if you're familiar with that area. So it's about like I said, half hour, but. It's located on 192 State Street in Auburn, New York. Look at this guy. I'm like literally not even focusing on what I'm doing and it's just doing its damn thing on my eyeballs. Right? <laughs> Vinny's, it's your patience for me. I feel myself now because I had like it was supposed to open in October. Or no, September. Then it was October. Then it was November. And now I'm thinking it's going to probably be December. Just because now we're at the point where it's, like, not finishing touches yet, but it's now I have to, like, order everything, like, as far as decorations, the, like, the stools, like, basically everything that goes into the bar, I have to order it now. Look at these eye looks, guys. So, for this look, since I'm not telling you at all what I'm doing, I'm just talking about myself, I used this shade, this shade, this shade, and then... I think that's all I'm going to do here because I would just throw this basically on the inner corner of, I think, every single look. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do for this eye because that purple is really uh, giving it to me. Like, when I swatch this purple, where is it? This is how it swatches, guys. Look at the swatch and then look at my eye. Do not judge these by the swatches, okay? So let's wipe this off and then we're going to do one completed look with the greens. <laughs> because I got to. I love the green eyeshadows. That was the most uh, appealing thing to me. Now I forget what I was talking about. <laughs> Do you guys have questions? Oh, I was talking about where it's located. So I guess, I don't know, like some things I want to wait to talk about until like the unveiling of it, I guess you could say. Like I, I get a lot of common questions, but yeah, it's just been... Uh, it's been interesting. It's very, it's been very trying as well because <laughs> that's like all that we talk about is what do we got to do here? What do we got to do here? What do we got to do here? That's another reason why I'm trying to do these videos in the morning now, just because we spend so much time down at the bar just doing construction and then I get home and then I need to edit my wedding videos. So it's, I'm trying to just prioritize and then I'm like, if people are watching these get ready with me is like what better time than to start the day you know so it's just sit down chitty chat maybe we get ready together oh i forgot i'm drinking orange juice today what are we drinking everybody mm-hmm living for the pink eyeshadow it does it like looks more like more pink when i put it on my eye but it's more purple in the pan let's see <laughs> shot glasses and t-shirts Guys, you are not ready for the merch. Oh, that's, I think, what I was talking about with the girl that's doing the mural at the bathroom. She's going to be, I think, designing some merch. And then I've also reached out to Danica, who did my fall merch from last year. I thought about bringing that back, but I'm like, I just don't think I can handle anything else on my plate at this point. <laughs> but, um, I contacted both of them if they would like to do merch designs for me. So... I mean, bar merch will probably be only available at the bar, but we'll definitely have some bar merch for you guys. <laughs> I'm really excited. It's just been a really fun pro project for us, <laughs> but also stressful and also very, very expensive. But one thing I'm so grateful for, like, because obviously nothing happened really last year because of COVID and everything. But um, I'm so grateful that everything happened when it did just because like the prices of stuff now, like as far as construction goes, I would have never been able to afford it. Like with how much more expensive shit is now compared to what it was two years ago. Like luckily we bought all the drywall, the plywood, the lumber, like 
literally so much. <laughs> so much money flying out the window. <laughs> Let's see. Always coffee. Working in my third. <laughs> oh, I don't love that for you. Fuck work. <laughs> That's one question I get quite often now is, um, do I miss working? And I'm like, no. I don't, because I don't feel like I don't, like, I, I work for myself, so it's like, if anything, I work more now, but it's so much more, like, gratifying. Is that the right word? Rewarding working for myself versus working for a company that, I mean, you're just basically a robot. To, for what I was doing, it's just like, I didn't feel like I brought much value for what I was doing before. Now it's like, I'm doing my own thing, and I'm focused on my own thing, and I'm able to pay attention to things more. <laughs> All right, so I just applied my Gerard Cosmetics, the Clean Canvas Eye Base. Favorite eye primer currently. It's been my favorite for a while. And now, let's go back into the shadows. Let's use these greens, baby. Let's see. Price of lumber, lumber skyrocketed. It's it's insane. It is, oh my God. It's, it's it nuts. Like, I can't even get on that topic. It's so crazy. And it's like... That's why I'm so grateful that everything happened the way that it did, that I wasn't open because, first of all, that would have been uh, detrimental to my business. Like, if I were to open and then have all the restrictions and guidelines and shit, like, I probably would have shut down within, like, six months if I opened when we initially planned because, um... Let's just talk about this really quick. We anticipated this remodel to last, like, six months. And we're on two fucking years, so... <laughs> but that's, I mean, that's basically a sacrifice that we made with doing all of the work, or almost all the work, not all of it, but doing almost all of the work all ourselves was, okay, yeah, probably not, probably not gonna last, you know, as short of amount of time as we thought, but we're making sure it's done correctly and all that fun stuff. So, yeah, six months, two years later. <laughs> Safe to say we, um, we judged that too quickly. <laughs> Let's see the greens, baby. Are you guys paying attention to, to how, like, fast I'm able to get these looks done? Because normally when I'm applying eyeshadow... I have to really focus. That's why I'm really impressed with how well this is going for me just, like, yammering on about stuff that you guys probably don't care about. Like, people that are new to this channel, they're probably like, what the fuck is she talking about? Like, why do these people care? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take a little bit more of that matte, the lighter green, and then I'm just going to place it right here, and then I'm going to place an even darker shade next to it. I'm trying to do this so you guys could see and I don't turn away. But hello pigment. Hello pigment. I love this for us. As far as performance goes, like what I'm noticing right now, this is like what I know from NARS eyeshadows. Like it's not anything different than what I would expect. Oh, let's see. Emma, working for yourself, what you do is so fulfilling. I finally got a job in my industry of choice and I'm pumped. Yes, girl, congratulations. That's so exciting. Now I'm using, so this is the first shade that I used up here. Now I'm using this shade right down here. Oh, let's see. Girl, you do not need to sell me on NARS. They're one of my faves. I feel like, <laughs> look at me over here like, I feel like I'm hyping up all these brands that nobody talks about. <laughs> Because I don't feel like NARS eyeshadows really ever got the hype. I feel like the Climax palette definitely did get hype, though. Because I think that color story was so unique to so many different people. But I'm just like, why? Like, these are some of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. Just because it's such, like, I think... Maybe it's because, like, the four-pan palettes are so expensive. Maybe that's why a lot of people don't really hype them up. Because... I don't know. I just think for what you pay, because this palette retailed for, I think, $58. Let's pull it up really quick, because I know I had that pulled up. Look, I'm like all over the place today. <laughs> 
So let me pull up the NARS website so you guys can see at least like some information. So this palette retails for $59. The largest eyeshadow palette ever featuring 16 limited edition jewel tone shades and matte satin shimmers and glitter finishes. It's not like pressed glitters. It's just like the sparkly, I would say like sparkly metallics. But it does have like the glitter as far as the glitter is very predominant, but it's not a pressed glitter. So it's got the variety of textures, and I love the fact that it's, yes, it's expensive, like it's $59, but I feel like the value is there because you're getting good quality eyeshadows. I believe this is made in Italy. Let me double check. Made in Italy, 12-month shelf life. You've got all the shade names on the back, and it's 0 .03 ounces or 1 gram times 16. So there's that information if you were wondering. So, I don't know. I just feel like NARS is a brand that is not nearly as hyped as I would expect them to be, if that makes sense. So, the shade on the inner and outer corner, this shade down here, and then I'm going to blend the edge of my crease with this shade right here. I'm sticking with, like, the cool tones for this one. Uh, let's see. The palette is flipping gorgeous, isn't it? I was, like... Listen, I was contacting, like, all those personal shoppers on Instagram. I'm like, yo, can anybody get this for me? <laughs> I was so fucking ready for this eyeshadow palette. Because just knowing that I love NARS palettes was what made me want this palette so badly. Oh, guys, I'm so excited, too. I think... Um, if you, you guys should follow me on Instagram if you're interested. I think my refer, the holiday collection, is going to arrive today because they sent me it in PR. And I cannot wait to see what's in store for their holiday collection. It just made me think of it because I'm using a refer 13. One of my favorite brushes of all time. Just blending that edge. It's like when I first apply to that green, it kind of separates right there. But then once I just blend over it, it fixes it. <laughs> so easy to work with. Like these give me, like they remind me of Scott Barnes, obviously, like I said, because of the varieties and the textures and the way that they transform. But as far as like blendability, ease of use and everything like that, it gives me the vibes of Makeup Geek. Even though I think that these are probably apply more pigmented than Makeup Geek does, but as far as like how easy they are to use, how easy they are to blend, you know, it's a slight comparison, I guess you could say. Let's see, will you prefer this or the Climax? I'll show you guys the Climax. Um, I think I would pick the Climax just because this is so unique. But I don't think... Oh my god, there goes Ozzy. I'm like looking. Hold on. I really like both, but I don't think you need both. But this one leans far more cool tone. I think it's just the overall aesthetic of this one that makes me love this one so much. Is just because how different and curated it is for my collection. But I also don't like this packaging. But it's like, if you liked... Okay, here's this. If you like the greens in this... You could probably get something real fucking similar with this. I think for you getting the extra shades and everything, this one's probably, like, the better bang for your buck, I think. That's at least my initial thought, but I still really like both. <laughs> That's a hard one. All right, let me choose this, like, set and color green, and we're going to slap this right on the lid. The textures, though, are different as far as, like, comparing the Climax to the uh, Bijoux. I don't know how to pronounce it. I, I say that because the metallics in the Climax palette are, like, true metallics where they have that, like, really shiny, like, not quite glittery, but it's got a more, like, reflect to it. This one is heavier on, like, the sparkly, whereas, like, you know there's a difference between, like, a sparkly metallic and a shiny metallic? I think the Climax is more shiny. This palette's more sparkly. So if you like a metallic, but you don't want it to be so glittery, Climax. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> she said get them both. I mean, why not? <laughs> 
I don't think you need both. I think it's just overall going to depend on what is the most appealing to you, and that goes with, like, literally everything when it comes to makeup. Like, clearly, I thought I needed both, which is why I bought them both. <laughs> Let's see. Nice lipstick and damage. It would look stunning on you. Is that an audacious lipstick? Because I wouldn't be surprised if I grabbed it after you saying that. Because I love the audacious line. I think it's so beautiful. So, like, this look, I wish that it had, like, a little more punch to that green. Like, as far as, like, metallic-wise, just for my preference. But it doesn't need it. It still looks really beautiful. But then again, you have these other shades in here that you could easily take. Because this has more of that, you know shine somebody's outside must be it must be my brother-in-law because he was calling me <laughs> so the dogs are just gonna bark this whole time i love that for us so this one i'm like this is more of that metallic like the shiny metallic formula so this isn't even giving me what i want just for what like i'm envisioning so i'm trying to make it happen i think i need one of the sparklier shades i'm gonna take that really spark like look at this fucking gold this is, I think, what's going to give me what I'm looking for. Yes, that's what I wanted. <laughs> I want that glittery texture to it. So that's one thing that is nice about these palettes as well. It's like it gives you room to play and it could really elevate your look to like a whole different level. Like, look, look at that. Yes, bitch. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. Nikki lives in Oswego. You're not far. You're like an hour from me. Yeah. You're probably like an hour from me. Damn, it gets cold up in us. We go. Where are you guys watching from? Beautiful. Love that. Okay, let's do the under eye real quick. And then we'll get into the cheek palette. Like, okay. Give me your guys' feedback. Do you guys... Like, do you guys need anything else in these types of videos? Like, when I'm reviewing a collection like I feel like this is the ultimate way to show you guys if it's good like just play with it chit chat but if I'm not giving you everything that you're looking for please let me know so I can improve <laughs> let's see did you order from Pat McGrath's new collection I ordered one blush palette from Sephora with the friends and family sale but I did not purchase the palette yet I'm still really on the fence about that palette, so I don't think I'm going to end up getting it. And I think that's just where I'm at. <laughs> so if you're waiting for me to review that palette, I don't think it's going to happen just because I can almost guarantee I'm going to say it's not worth it to me. And I'm so palette heavy right now, like I just, I just don't see a point in me getting it <laughs> at this point. I think if I was going to get it, I would have already gotten it. And, like, so many videos have tempted me to get it. Like, Patty Alonzo, Morgan Turner. And I'm just like, I just know that I don't like her matte formula. Even though it's not heavy on the mattes, I still don't think that... I don't know. I just... I think Indy does it better. Because <laughs> that's what I'm going to compare it to. And I just know. I just know. And that's all I need to know. <laughs> all right. This is so beautiful. Puerto Rico, Tampa, Florida. Oh my God, Dublin, Ireland, Scotland, Oklahoma. Oh my God, you guys are like all over the place. Little Rock, California. Oh my God, so cool. I am dying to go to Ireland. Like our friends have talked about getting married in Ireland and I'm like, oh my God, can you please so we can go? <laughs> I'm like, even if I'm not invited, I'm inviting myself. I'm dying to go there. It's on the bucket list. What is on my face? There. Okay, so this look is beautiful. Everything that I love about NARS palettes is on my face right now. Let's see. I need an inner corner highlighter. Hold on. I need to find my, um, my pencil brush. I just, like, reorganized my brushes, so I'm, like, refining everything again. So I'm going to take this shade right here. So everything that's on my eyeballs right now, we've got these three shades... And then I put like a little bit of this one. That's the one I tried. And then I put the gold on the top. So ixnay this one. The gold on top. And then these three right here. So I used 
almost all the shades today. I didn't use this shade and this shade. We tried to use this shade, but it wasn't it wasn't fitting appropriately. Still a beautiful formula, but it just wasn't fitting, you know, what I needed it for. That would be a good, like, all over the lid. So I'm going to take that lightest shade in the palette for my inner corner. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, I love that name. Lizette? Thank you so much for the super chat. You didn't have to do that. I appreciate you. What about Lunar Beauty Moonspell 2? Bitch, you know I got that. <laughs> you already know. Your girl had to get that. L the Moonspell is literally my favorite palette of all time. The original. So... It, it felt wrong to not get the number two. I was not, like, as crazy about the color story. Curiosity is what really gets me with this one, though, because I guess he is, he made his formula in, or I guess the palettes are made in the PRC, and that's something that I don't personally care about. Like, it doesn't bother me if things are made in China. Obviously, I would prefer them to be made in the U.S., but overall, I'm just like, I want to try it to know if the formula is still good or if it's better or what the case is. Because Lunar Beauty had one of my favorite formulas for a really long time, and then I think I just found other brands that I preferred over them. But I'm still curious, and I still want, and I got it. <laughs> All right, I got a little... a little crazy on the under eye here, so I'm just going to blend my sponge over the top. I could add a little bit more concealer if I wanted to, but it's fine. Oh, let's see. I wanted more from the Moon Spell too. I think that's the consensus that I'm seeing. Like, a lot of people aren't really that impressed with the color story. But let me ask you guys this, okay? If you weren't impressed with the color story, did you watch his video? Because let me tell you what. Those swatches do not do like if you didn't watch the video if you just saw like picture swatches you need to watch his video because I was like okay maybe not for me but then I watched the video and I'm like fuck <laughs> because some of those fucking swatches were so beautiful and so stunning I was just like oh I need that I need that yep so I mean, if you were on the fence, watch the video. Or if you weren't, just disregard. <laughs> Moonspell looks like Tuna Norvina plus Briggs. <laughs> I saw that comment a lot, like, very reminiscent to Norvina. I'm just like, I don't care. I'm favorable toward the, to the brand. I didn't buy his last palette. It's mainly because... I'm like, who the fuck's calling me now? It's mainly because of how I feel about the original Moonspell. And I have no shame in admitting that. Okay, Brittany, it looks fine. Like, I'm just sitting here adding more for no reason. <laughs> Rose said, I did watch the video, but nope, still not getting it. <laughs> so I actually got the, um, I got the whole collection, like the lip glosses and the palette, because his lip, his, like his lip formulas are really, really nice. So I think he did one liquid lipstick and two lip glosses. So yeah, I got the whole collection. I got so much makeup coming my way. It's like dangerous. <laughs> much. Okay, so that is everything for this eyeshadow palette. My first impression of this, stunning. Love the packaging. It's like your traditional like NARS, like their face palette type packaging. I love this. I love the bondage and inappropriate moment. I think it's beautiful. I love this color story because it's like basic, but you still have like your greens and purples. This would be like a perfect staple palette for me. Just because it's got, like I said, the neutrals, you've got some warm tones, you have some cool tones. You have a really good variety within this palette. So this one, surprise, surprise, I'm going to fucking love it. So that's everything for that. Now let's go to the cheek palette. And I love it. It's like the same type of packaging, same exact size, just for comparison. So if you're familiar with the cheek palettes, same size as the eyeshadow palette. So now we have the high profile cheek. You've got the sticker on the back. This is also, let's see, made in Italy, 18 month shelf life. This is going to have more of that like super pressed <laughs> formula to it. I'm kind of nervous because 
when I see embossings that's like so intense like this is, it's like, but is it going to pick up on a brush? So we're going to try that today. I'm going to do some quick swatches. Like I don't even want to touch this because it looks so pretty, but I did purchase recently the, um, orgasm on the beach palette. So I'm like, did I need another fucking NARS cheek palette? No, I just got the basic instinct quad as well. Like, I don't know. It's just something about their powders. I just love it. So one thing to be mindful of is, you know, that dog will not shut it down today. These can tend to get like the hard pan with the blushes that I currently own. I haven't experienced that. But if you were curious, I wanted to pull out, like, too much NARS. <laughs> That's a lie, never too much. So I'm going to pull out this palette just so you guys can see these side by side. I think there's definitely differences between the two, but I don't know if I would necessarily say, like, oh, you should get both. <laughs> because they're pretty close. I'm not going to do, like, side by sides comparisons because I think there's quite a few on Instagram. But I would say... There's some differences, like, I feel like these two up here are really close to, like, these two right here. This is kind of close to this one. So it's like, yes, they're different, but it's like, are they different enough? I would say just choose wisely to which one. Here, let me hold them both upside down so you can see them both. Choose wisely if you were interested in either of them, but it's like, did I need them both? Nah. <laughs> so let's see which is better. Stephanie, I'm going to I'm going to try them today and I will try to give you my feedback because I really do like the orgasm on the beach palette. I have a strong feeling it's just going to be like, a, oh, they're beautiful. Just get which one that you prefer. <laughs> just because I think that's just kind of what it is. I'm going to use, I think... See, like, when I use these palettes, I like to mix. That's where I really like these blush palettes because a full size of NARS blushes is, like, $30 plus. Dollars, whereas this, let me pull it up because I already pulled it up on my, on, my, on my Safari. This retails for $59. So it's, like, yeah, you kind of have to ask yourself. Like, I personally like their palettes because I feel like it's a better bang for your buck and you get more variety and you get, like, such a wide variety in here. I think with the Orgasm on the Beach palette, though, you get more highlighters. Like, I think there's two or three highlighters in that one. Whereas this palette, it's more blushes. You get the one highlighter and all the rest are blush. So, again, I mean, it's not super different, but it's, like, with this packaging, though. I like this packaging so much better than the Orgasm on the Beach. The Orgasm on the Beach was, like, I feel like it could have done a little bit better because it was just, like, pink. I mean, it's still beautiful, but it's just, you know. Okay, and I believe that these are all new shades. I could be incorrect there, but they could be. I really want to use this shade because I feel like this is pretty different compared to the Orgasm on the Beach. So I'm going to put this one. I'm going to start back here. I don't have any bronzer on. I wanted you guys to actually see the blush. And then the only thing I have underneath my foundation is that um, the Mod Con Liquid Gel Contour. So these powders are going to have like a sheen to them. At least I think that they do. That's how it translates on my face. They just have a slight luminosity to them. I'm still using that same shade. So Something I'm always kind of leery about is if it's going to accentuate my texture, but these tend to not. So I do really like these. Like, I feel like a formula that does always accentuate my texture is Natasha Denona. So like that, it's like, it's cute, you know, she cute, but I want to add a little bit more depth. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And again, this is what I really like about these NARS palettes is I could basically like make my own blush shades by mixing just like a bunch of random ones. I do feel like this is probably more appropriate for fall time. So if you're looking for more fall type blushes, I would probably go this route. But it's like beautiful. You know, it applies nicely. It applies evenly. It looks nice on the skin. It's just, it's like really hard to impress me with blushes <laughs> because I'm like, how do you fuck up a blush? Honestly, I'll do, let's see, I'll do this shade 
first on the other side just so you could see like a variety of different colors but if you see me use these palettes in the future it's it's gonna be I mix them all together just because that's what I like let's see I like luminosity in my blushes so that will work for me yeah these definitely have that so if you like a true like matte blush I don't think that you'll like this it has the most natural looking luminosity and like I said, I don't feel that it accentuates texture at all because I do have a lot of texture on my face. So I feel like you would see it. All right, I just want to blend this a little bit more and then I want to add another shade. So that was the shade that's underneath the highlighter. And then I want to add in the top center. This packaging feels a little like, it keeps like creaking. <laughs> okay, let's go in with that top middle. This is like, a really natural looking blush I think this would be like an everyday for fall type of blush for me I think we'll see we'll see if it stays in like top drawer like reach for it all the time yes super pretty I definitely need some bronzer though but if I were to look side by side I'm like mmm I like the side better <laughs> So, let's even these out a little bit. Let me add some pink over to this side. It's almost like that mauve tone pink. Just to give me more balance. Now I'm just mixing them all together and just evening out my sides. So this would be more of how I would typically <laughs> use it. Okay, that's close enough. It's fine. Now, let's do... The highlighter. Now I'm going to use a more dense brush for highlighter with this formula just because I think it performs better that way. So I like to use either the Smashbox, this is the precise highlight, or I reach often for, this isn't as dense, but this is the Wayne Goss number four. I'll start with the Wayne Goss four because I feel like this is the one that I've been using the most for highlight. So I'm just going to run this over the top. I'm just curious if it actually like picks it up. But since it's natural hair, I mean, it should. So I'll do one brush on one side and then the other brush on the other just to see what I like more. Okay, Nars. I mean, you're definitely seeing my texture. See? I wasn't lying. I have texture on my face, guys. <laughs> but it's like your traditional... Like, this is what I expect from Nars. If it was anything different, I'd be like, wait, what's happening? So I don't think I'm going to like that brush as much. I think I'm going to like the Smashbox because, like I said earlier, it's a more, like, pressed formula. So let's try. Maybe I'll be wrong, though. We'll see. Oh, wow. Maybe not. Like, I'm really trying to push it in there. Okay, there we go. So I just had to push in a little bit more. Yeah, like this, this is how I like to use these because I just feel like it pushes into the skin and it doesn't get like all over the face and it doesn't accentuate my texture as much as when I use something more fluffy with a formula like this because like it doesn't look bad, but probably because I used this over it. But I mean, she's still cute, but it did pick up way better it, w it picked up a lot better with the Wayne Goss so maybe use a natural hairbrush let's just do a little bit more yeah just be mindful like I said if you got texture because um could potentially go overboard there <laughs> to me other cheek palettes look the same they do look very very similar so it's like okay here's here's where I feel like these holiday collection this goes for every brand if you have not purchased from theirs, like from their brand before, if you've been wanting to try them, like that's where I feel like something like this comes in handy. Do I think you need like every single NARS palette or face palette? Absolutely not, because why would you? It's like one is more than enough that's going to last you literally forever. But one thing I could see happening with these powders, though, just being honest, I could see these getting like a hard pan. So I'll keep you guys posted if I experience that. But I haven't experienced that with either of my other ones. But I do think that, I don't know, like, if you were looking for a NARS palette that's incredible, I love this Orgasm X one. It's so good. Like, 
I don't know. I almost prefer NARS like when they don't do the embossing because I feel like it does make the texture of the powder a little bit more tough. But that one is really great. And then also, oh, oh, I should have grabbed this before I started. The NARS Basic Instinct, like I fucking love this. I think if I were to pick out of my entire NARS collection, this might be the one just because I love how the shades are so dramatically different. But then with this formula, or with this package, package, with this product, whatever you want to call it, you've got a matte, you have, I think this is orgasm. No. This has, like, a more luminous finish to it, but it's not like these other two. Like, these two are very, very luminous. So I just like the variety within, the, within this one, within the shades and the formulas. If I were to pick between any of them, between all the ones that I showed you today, I think I would go with this just because of my preferences. But it's like, this one, though, it's still cute. Like, she's cute, but I think that the overall, like, aesthetic of it is what is overall winning, okay? So that's it for the cheeks, the eyes, and now we've got lips. So we've got two, just one more look at these swatches if you guys wanted it. I've got the two audacious lipsticks, and those are literally, like, my favorite lipsticks of all time. So, I highly recommend these, like, every single time because I love the formula. So, I believe, from what I just looked up online, okay, I believe that one of these shades is permanent, and then one of them is not. So, I think Augustine, which is the one that you're seeing, and which is the lighter of the two, I think that this is a new shade, because I looked on the like in the audacious line and I didn't see Augustine. And then the other shade is Mona, which is deeper, but they're both beautiful. So Augustine is a taupe nude. And then you have Mona, which is a mahogany. I feel like these are both incredibly appropriate for fall. $34 a piece. So yes, they're very expensive. Okay. But I don't care. <laughs> I don't care that they're so expensive. And I'm going to show you why. One, the packaging. I love this packaging. I think it's beautiful. It is going to show your fingerprints, but it is what it is. So I'm going to swatch Augustine for you first. Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Let me zoom for you guys so you can really see it. And then you can really see the texture on my face. <laughs> Look at this aesthetic. And then it says NARS, just like all of the audacious. See that? So pretty. I love, love, love these lipsticks. Now, this is where, this is where they're the fucking best. Look at that one swipe pigmentation though. Okay. So these are technically, to me, I don't even know how they like, what the, what the finish is that they say that these are supposed to be. I think these are like a satin formula, which is my favorite. But one thing that I love the most about these, this has that same packaging beautiful. So this is the shade Mona. Same thing. One swipe, full pigmentation. Gorgeous. Like this for fall, fuck me up. So, so pretty. I think these are only available on the NARS site. Again, link down below. I'm going to apply both of these to my lips though, so you guys can see what they actually look like on my skin tone. If you're wondering what complexion I am today, I probably should have said this in the beginning, your air flash in 3.5 n <laughs> favorite foundation of like all time now i'm not gonna do lip liner just so you could really see but yes like one swipe pigmentation but these are literally the most long lasting lipstick formula i've ever used i don't know what it is about the audacious line but damn. So that's the shade Augustine. Like that's like a perfect nude for me. Not too light. It's not too deep. That is like perfection. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. Cause I was like, eh, am I going to like this one? This lip with this eye look, pop some lashes on. She snapped. So that was Augustine. And now I'll show you Mona. I think Mona might look even better just so you guys could see it. What was your favorite product that we talked about today? So here we go with Mona. Uh, 
Oh my god, that color. And this formula. Ah! Bitch. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, this with the lip liner. You know what this reminds me of? I feel like there's a Vive lipstick that I have. I don't know where it is. I'm like, is it right there? It's not. I don't know where it is right now. That lip is bitchin'! It looks like a brick red, but it's not too red. It's, it's like a reddish brown, like this with my fucking hair. Yes, bitch. It's so, oh, it's so pretty. Mmm. I do like Augustine, I think, better with this look, but once I put lashes on, and look, it's like, I didn't even put freaking lip liner on. Imagine how much better this is gonna look with fucking lip liner. <gasps> Ooh! This for fall? Mm-hmm. So, Mona, again, this is the one that is permanent, so it's not like a run, don't walk, but if you like this packaging, this is limited edition packaging. Augustine, if you like that one better, this one is, I think, exclusive to the holiday line, or at least that I saw on the NARS website. So, if I had to pick a favorite of this collection, I have to go with, I have to go with the palette. Like, the, the cheek palette, it's fine, but it's not like a you need it, or it's not like it's so different from my collection. Quite frankly, neither is the eyeshadow palette, but as far as what I look for in a palette, like this literally has everything. It's got the greens, the purples, the neutrals, the variety of the textures, like travel friendly, like literally this is everything that I could want in a palette. So yes, this is definitely the favorite. Second to that is obviously the lipsticks because... They're just so stinking good. I mean, don't let the dirty packaging drive you crazy like it probably will me. But I'm going to go and put some lashes on now. And I'm going to take some pictures of myself and post them on Instagram. So let me know what you guys thought. It's a vibe as fuck, that lip. Yeah, it is. It's like perfect for my hair, right? You'll definitely see this lip more in the future because that is such a beautiful lip for fall. Mm, yes. Okay, guys. So what's coming up on my channel? Sigma Cinderella. We've got highlighter declutter tomorrow. We've got, oh Jesus. Hold on. Let me think. Vive, the new Vive Muse collection. That's coming up. Gucci Beauty, whenever the hell it decides to, to show up. <laughs> that new palette. Um, the Haunted Europe from Nomad. I might use that on Monday's video for the new makeup releases just because I have yet to touch that one. There's a lot. I've got... S I'm shopping way too much. Lunar Beauty, like we talked about earlier. <laughs> so, if you guys did like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up or thumbs it down. That's cool, too. I appreciate all of you guys watching. Anyways, subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you in the future. And if you guys want to watch more... Did I say watch? If you want to watch more of my NARS, like my NARS videos, I do have a NARS playlist. I'll leave a card up on the top somewhere. That way, if you guys want to see any of my thoughts on their previous nine pans, you can do that. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm torn between this new palette and the Climax as of right now. So we'll see in the future. I do like favorites and fails and follow-ups every single month. I do palette rankings once in a while. I need to do another one. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy it. Like, subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for highlighter declutter. That may or may not be a declutter. <laughs> okay, bye.